mad, it is mercy. May the gods pity the man who in his callousness can remain sane to the hideous end. It totally smells like dead fish. That's gross. I hate dead fish. It's nasty. Oh, what's that? This. Touch it. Touch it. Smells like dead fish. What are you treating offering? Oh, okay, I'm sorry. It's not like God, motherfucker. You could be nice about it. Don't fight. Run! You have been chosen. Okay. Run, baby, run. Just go and run, run, run. Behold. Everything has already been written. Don't you blame Whiskey for that shit? 
Whiskey is a wonderful creation of the gods. Don't you blame whiskey for your bullshit. You definitely blame whiskey for your shit. Mm -mm. Don't blame whiskey or Mary Jane. It's neither of their faults. You're stupid. My private, what? My private detective agency contracted to the Wentworth Detective Agency. After the Great War, I decided to set up in Boston where there is no lack of work for guys like me. One small time case follows another. Adultery is old scores, disappearances that are not actually disappearances. The old office couch is less comfortable than a real bed, but I should probably get rid of these empty bottles. This place is mine for the moment. Alright. Our files will still be up to date. And on a related matter, may I raise a sensitive question? What's wrong? As you know, we wish to closely monitor the progress of our contractors. And it would seem you've been accepting fewer new cases. Work is scarce. Mr. Pierce, you know as well as I do there's never been more investigative work than now. But are those cases worth it? They're worth not losing your license. Show yourself worthy of the Wentworth Detective Agency, and we might keep you on the payroll. Mr. Pierce, do you still. I'm coming! Sir, I came here on the advice of a person whom I hold in high esteem, and I must say that I expected anything but a drunkard's lair. You're free to leave any time, sir. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Do you know to whom you speak? Stephen Webster, industrialist and art collector. All of Boston knows you. Tell me, Mr. Pierce, are you capable of handling a new case, or are you simply a deadbeat inebriate? <gasps> if you come to me, it means you're desperate. Nobody believes me. They take me for an old fool. Sarah, my little girl, she is dead. Even you must know of her. She was Sarah Hawkins. The painter? Yes. Everyone knows her work. The police accuse her of killing her family. They all died in a fire. Sarah, her husband, and Simon, my grandson. Well, I can't do anything candles. for a woman who is already dead. Find out the truth. They say she was mad, but I know that's a lie. She would never have done such a thing. But if you have no proof... I've brought all that I have. Look. I want you to look carefully at this painting. Tell me all the assumptions that come to mind. What am I supposed to find? Tell me... Tell me if this is the work of madness. Or if, on the contrary, you manage to detect some logic, a rationality to follow so that I may understand it. Is that all you want from me? Yes. Please. All right. I'll look at your picture. That's all you've got? The painting? I placed a file on your desk. It contains everything I have on the affair. on dark wood. Some sketches of the Hawkins family. So that's unreal. I can make a part of Rather thin. Warehouse. Family, a place that I've incident, but they nevertheless assist Sir Hawkins' mental frailty. Article written about the marriage of Sarah and Charles Hawkins, a businessman from Island of Darkwater. Chris Life, there with their only son. What is 
this symbol on the man's chest. It's as if Sarah Hawkins breathed a message into it. So, Mr. Pierce, what do you make of these elements? The sender's label mentions Warehouse 36. That's right. It came with Sarah's last painting. And you think your daughter could have been the sender? That is what you must find out. Go to Darkwater. Find Warehouse 36. Darkwater? Never heard of the place. Where is it? It's a small remote island off the coast of Boston. Sarah lived there with her son and her husband. I suppose you want to ship me off there. Darkwater holds the secret regarding my daughter, Mr. Pierce. Run and shoot. You must oh, no, uncover what? it. Wait, I'll take it back. Now I'm pride. The meaning could be exactly as it appears. I think your daughter is sending you a message. That's what I believe, too. It was three months ago that I received the call from the police telling me of my daughter's death. And yet a short while after, this painting was delivered to my home. The painting is linked to this case, can't you see? You must find the meaning behind all this. You must tell me if what the police suggest about the mental state of your daughter is true. No. Sarah had visions. Everyone knew that. She never would have heard a fly. She only thought she saw things. Saw things? What do you mean by that? I never knew what she meant by that. My daughter was an enigmatic figure, Mr. Pierce. You must find out the truth about her life and death. Her husband was a big deal on the island. But the police are sticking to the accident theory. Though they mentioned Sarah's mental state was fragile. I believe you are right. <coughs> this case is not as simple as it appears. I am aware of that. I believe there is more to this case than just an accident. Anything else? I think I'm beginning to understand. I'm willing to do anything for my daughter to recover her honor. Quiet down. I'm on your side. <laughs> Let's sum things up. An artist dies with her family in a house fire. Your only clue is a sort of promontory painting sent from dark water right before her death. Correct. And the rumors about her supposed folly. Which you don't totally deny. Find that warehouse. Find out the truth regarding Sarah Hawkins' death. You'll be handsomely compensated. All right. I'll take the case. I'll go to Darkwater and look into the death of your daughter. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. I didn't expect any less coming from a man in your situation. Something's queer. But it's not like I have a choice. Darkwater. I think I've got a book on the North Atlantic. I'll no doubt find some information on this island in there. Schoolboy only son of Sir and Charles Hawkins. He died in fire the previous way. Celebrity, air the ship hover, he used to travel.
natural sciences, linguistic... Dark water is off the coast of Boston. But I've never heard of it. According to this book, it was often mentioned during whale hunting times at the end of the 19th century. But it seems to have been shunned since then. All I have to do is go to the... I'm on a boat. I'm on a boat. Check me out, I'm on a fucking boat. Focus head. 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 Focus Studio, good lord. Don't kill me now. <laughs> We're almost there. I feel like fucking Popeye's grandpa. <laughs> Nobody talks about no more. <laughs> the boat's name is the Scylla. Okay. Oh, that's just a random boat called Scylla. <laughs> it's not his boat. This is the boat. Stay on board. There's guys coming to unload. Okay. Welcome to Darkwater Island, Mr. Pierce. Why, thank you, Captain Fitzroy. So, what wind brought you? Does the Hawkins case mean anything to you? Uh. A sad story that we would all prefer to forget. Charles Hawkins may have been a landlubber, but he was a good man. And his wife, Sarah Hawkins. A uh, nice young woman, and a great painter. What a tragedy. You know what? Go have a drink of the stranded whale. What you need is a good pick-me-up. Mitchell may not be very welcoming, but his bar holds a surprise for you. As for me, you'll find me at the Harbor Master's office. If it's the Hawkins family that brings you here, I have a pile of documents that should interest you. Understood. I'm going for a look around the docks. Mom, he has a heavy fucking Maynard accent. Hey, looking around the docks. I'm not looking. Fish? This place looks like it smells like it. It looks like it smells like fish. It's very fishy. Get on the boat. The same goes for you, sir. Move along. I'm looking for this address. Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. Ah. And so who are you? I didn't introduce myself. Edward Pierce, private detective. In any case, it's not very important. I can't answer that. You can't, or you don't want to. Oh, no, no. I'm not getting into those games, me. Now, please, 
Allow me to do my job. You don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. They're cops. They can't understand. Damn stupid idiots. Forget it. Nobody listens to us anyway. That's no way to treat an omen. Oh, yeah? He's gonna get us into trouble. You can't understand. You're not... The blood is just beginning to coagulate. It died a short time ago. Only a specialist would know what killed it. That's no way to treat an omen. Oh, yeah? He's gonna get us into trouble. You can't understand. You're not sailors. It's a sign. There's something coming. Poor chump wanted to stir us up. <laughs> You can stay to watch if you want. There's nothing for you here either. Beat it. Come on, you bastard. You'll see what a true sailor's got in his belly. You hear that? There's nothing for you here either. Beat it. What did he call us just now? I said you were a bilge rat. And even a... A box flippin'. You think we don't know what you're doing? Hitting in the fog? I'll shut up your big mouth once and for all. Optimistic. Are you stupid or what? Even your captain told you not to stick your noses around here again. Hey, be careful. The scary lady from the corner is watching me. Let's get him another drink. He's dry. In my bar, we don't serve troublemakers. Pure instinct. I behaved like a Hun, and I sincerely apologize. Veteran, huh? 307th Infantry Regiment. Oh. Well, that'll be okay for now. But the war is over. Try not to forget it. I'm here for information, not for a fight. I prefer it that way. Speak then. I reserve the right to answer or not. It's fine. <coughs> the Stranded Whale. I guess this bar has been here a long time. What can I tell you? I'm a nostalgic sort of guy. The name, it reminds us of the golden age of dock water. When our whalers left for long months and came back, sweating and stinking of the oil and flesh of the whales they'd been hunting. It was a tough time, all the same. Ah, but steeped in glory. We've never known such wealth since then. <coughs> what can you tell me about? We all knew she was famous on the mainland for her paintings. Never understood why. Then, I don't want to speak ill of the dead. It's <coughs>
Her style made her famous. How would you describe it? Tortured? Yeah. Well, it wasn't normal. I mean, for a young woman with a child and all that. We saw them in the papers and we said to ourselves, who can paint such things? Is that how she sees the world? So they made you feel uncomfortable? You need to see them for yourself. Make up your own mind. I've got what I need. Anything else? <coughs> Do you know where this place is? Warehouse 36, Blackwater Harbor. The Hawkins Warehouse. I see, yeah. If I were you, I wouldn't hang around there. Why not? First off, there are rumors. Sailors from around here say you can hear noises coming from the warehouse at night. Screams, that sort of thing. Screams? And that's not all. There's the fate of its owners and all the superstitions that go with it. But I'll say no more. Anything else? I didn't expect to find alcohol on this island. What's the source of this miracle? You mean who? Our source of supply wouldn't like me to betray them to the first comer. I'll tell nobody. She'd know it anyway. Anything else? She... <laughs> Captain Fitzroy told me about a little pick-me-up. You want a drink? I wouldn't say no to a glass. Try this. I think we'll get along well. <laughs> That'll be all for now. Charles Hawkins was a heavy drinker, and a debtor. Interesting. <laughs> and then he said, you have no right to treat us like this. And the doctor, what did he Number say? of asylum staff. My God. Ooh. The miraculous catch. Apparently, the most significant event of the last 80 years. song? <laughs> We're true sirens. We may not be pros, but we give it all we've got. That's true. It's a reminder of the time when we were still fishing for whales off Darkwater Island. I've never heard this song before. Only people from here know it. It tells the story of the miraculous catch. I saw the newspaper clipping. You don't believe it, do you? Watch what you say, young man. That catch saved our island. Ah. Where's the proof? We're the proof. Without it, the whole of Darkwater would have died of hunger in 1847. It's true. Everything happened, just as it says in the newspaper report. Our grandparents tasted its flesh. And it was delicious. 
It's a really fucked up way to say that. What brought whaling to an end? The whales, of course. They all disappeared. You exhausted the stocks. You could say that, yes. There were fewer and fewer of them. Until the last, the biggest. The one of the miraculous catch. Exactly. Y'all ate the last whale of existence? I bid you farewell, gentlemen. Good night, stranger. So long. Yeah, what on me, guy? See you later, bud. I like her outfit. <laughs> she looks awesome. I'm not gonna lie. See what I mean? The smoking thing. It's an aesthetic. It's a DC. Do you get it? I, I do. Yeah. What you looking at, stranger? <laughs> Your face. I've rarely seen a woman who can hold her liquor so confidently. What gives you the right to judge me? Ah, it was a compliment. So what? Let me drink. Kind of sounds like Mel Gibson. <laughs> I told you to beat it. Don't hate me, man. Love you, bro. You're dope. I'm gonna grow up and be like you someday. Except I'm already fat and 30. <laughs> Are you astounded? Horrified? I'm gonna be 30 this year. Ooh, I found the bathroom. Can I go pee? Can I flush the toilet? Fishing equipment. <laughs> Could do with some rust remover. A souvenir from a more prosperous era. I guess this blackboard hasn't been wiped for more than 70 years. A cellar. It finished up beached at the entrance to the harbor. This man and Fitzroy could be twins. Oh, he does like like he could be Fitzroy's twin. I gotta check and see if Fitzroy got a a, a peg leg. What a macabre souvenir. Oh, there's a peg leg up here. Yo, you got a peg leg? Broken. This place seems half abandoned. I wonder what Captain Fitzroy has got to say about this woman cat. Oh, don't talk about me. Oh, they ain't talking about it. <laughs> Captain, the terms of our agreement are clear. Keep your men under control. You cannot afford to provoke us. No need to answer this message. Just make your payment to the carrier. Cat. Oh, I bet that's the sassy lady downstairs drinking the booze. Mm. Talking about just. Oh, I'm going to the panels. Fucked up dock. Fucked up dock. Okay. Um. <coughs> I brought out the child's oh, hockey. I forgot to see the <laughs> On the table next Your pants to legs are pulled down. But again, yeah, I see everything that goes on in the harbor. The oh, hard-working lives of my sailors. Oh, do you know, guys? The fights of the stranded whale. 
Even the antics of these Warfrags don't escape me. It's you who lays down the law around here. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I'm just the last serving captain on Darkwater. Tell me what I can do to help you. I'm looking for Warehouse 36. Do you know where it is? Look, it's right there. The warehouse is opposite the jetty. You can't miss it. Understood. You know who the building belongs to, don't you? It belonged to the Hawkins family. Precisely. Ship owners from father to son. I think that somebody here wanted me to search this warehouse. Your manifests have been blacked out. They're totally unreadable. Yeah, I saw that. I've got no idea who did it or why. I, can't I don't bullshit. remember having countersigned anything special enough for someone to hide it. And why obliterate the dates as well as the goods stored in the warehouse? You mean that the dates have some meaning? I'm surprised Charles Hawkins had goods to store, knowing that whaling stopped in 1847. I see that you're interested in the history of our island. Indeed, maritime activities ceased altogether at the end of the last century. I imagine that the Hawkins family had other types of contracts. But you don't know with whom? No, it was none of my business. The miraculous catch. Is it a local legend? Not at all. It's an episode from our glorious past. Go read the story of the sailors' return to Darkwater Harbor. It's displayed on the wall of the stranded whale. I'm just back from the wharves. The dead killer whale is unsettled by the sailors. Ah, yes. Us men of the sea are superstitious folk. Killer whales don't have many known predators. That's true. And normally, they're not found around here. But, um, <laughs> you're gonna take me for a fool. Give it a try. Have you heard about the depths? Trenches that plunge into the earth and that shelter creatures unlike any other. You're talking about mythology. <laughs> Indeed, you're right. The police took the decision to put the killer whale back into the sea. You've got to understand them. They didn't know what to do with it. I think that was a mistake. Who says that whatever caused those wounds is no longer in these waters? <laughs> you think we should have kept it? To look into the real cause of its death, at least. I was looking at your photograph. One of the men in front of the boat. Ah, yes, I can see the one you're talking about. Interesting resemblance. I thought it was you, but with a wooden leg. And for good reason. That's my father in the photograph. Your father, John Fitzroy, captain of the Scylla. His wooden leg is here. You can go and see it if you're interested. Oh, I did. I still think it's you, nigga. I found a threatening letter signed by a certain cat. What? I don't mind you visiting my harbor master's office, but I'd prefer if you didn't go through my affairs. Are you being blackmailed? Not exactly, no. That shyster wants to make us pay protection money. With any success? I wouldn't say that, but she terrifies my men as much as her own. Can you not do anything to stop her? Don't you worry about that. I shall be on my way. So come back and see me when you've got something new. Why? Fitzgerald? Huh? You concerned about something, Fitzgerald? Mm-hmm. I 
Did you figure out how to save? I was kind of just getting ready to ask you that That's no way to treat an old man. Oh yeah. He's gonna get us into trouble. You didn't tell me that the warehouse I was looking for was right in front of us. Because its owner is dead. And I don't want to see you hanging around it. Now please, leave us to our work. You don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. They're cops. They can't understand. Damn what could have done so much damage? You can't understand. You're not sailors. What could have done so much damage? Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. They can't understand. Damn the fucking whale boats. Get it. Nobody listens to us anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you think you're going? <coughs> I'm not here to hinder your work, well. officer. Edward Pierce, private detective. Yeah, Sorry, bitch. we're all a little on edge today. Fuck what off. are you doing here? I'm investigating the death of the Hawkins family. Darn it. Why do you want to drag up all that stuff again? My investigation has led me to this warehouse. That case was closed months ago. What more can you say about the death of the Hawkins family? Not much more than what everyone knows. I wasn't on the case. They were all burnt to death, right? Up at their place. The whole mansion went up in flames. Don't get it into your head to go wandering around up there. It's dangerous. What do you mean by that? The only one left there is old Silas, and the accident has affected him badly. He can be unpredictable. Especially if a stranger starts poking around the property. Is he a danger to the public? No, he's in his own home. Do yourself a favor. Leave him well alone. Uh, uh, get up out my way. Get up out my way. I said, get up out my way. I said, get up out my way. No, if it gets out, I'll have serious problems with you know who. I bet that you hit them somewhere in your hut on the dock. Not even. And don't go looking there. Could you be dumb enough to leave the entrance to the warehouses unguarded? Keep your voice down. Why not go and shout at the cat while you're at it? I don't want to end up with her little knife under my throat. It's a stiletto, you idiot. And with that smell on your breath, I don't give you much chance anyway. How do I save? 